Fortunately, Nessie has an American cousin. For years, residents of northern New York have reported sightings of a similar lake monster haunting the waters of Lake Champlain. They have named this creature Champ. And here with us now, we have a local American expert on our local American monster. Please welcome Madame Madeleine Dr. Huguenot. Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Oh, what the hell? Allô, monsieur, je suis Dr. Huguenot. The pleasure of your acquaintance is très pleasing to me, eh? According to your blog, you are the world's foremost expert on the Lake Champlain monster. Ah oh, oui, I am knowing everything about the Champlain. Ah, I have read all the books. Sorry, sorry. You have read all the books? I presume you have written a few too? Not yet. But who knows, eh? The day she's still young, no? <laughs> okay, first question. Why aren't you American? <laughs> Don't forget! Nearly 5% of Lake Champagne is in Quebec. It is the very best part. And what is it you're a doctor of, exactly? The cryptozoology, not to mon. I have the honorary degree from the University of La Touc. The University of La Touc? Is that a good school? C'est magnifique. La Touc is the best vocational college in all of France, Canada. <laughs> Much better than your silly Ivy League. <laughs> And how many times have you seen the Lake Champlain monster? I like to call him Champy. Yes, of course you do. How many times have you seen Champy? Carefully, but of course I have never seen her. You have never seen Champy? Then what makes you the world's foremost expert on the creature? I have read so many books. Have you ever gone looking for her? But of course, I have been on more than Two dozen expeditions. I have used the radar, the sonar, the fish psychic. <gasps> there are fish psychics. Crick, find us a fish psychic. <laughs> How about a fish medium? Not medium. Fish should be well done. Uh, I'm going to slap you. In French Canada, we have the psychics for everything. Much better than your American visa kicks, eh? Sir, <laughs> have you only searched the Canadian side? Oh, no, no. I have been all over the Lake Champlain. I have been in the robot, in the helicopter, and in the, how you say, submarine. And I have spent many, many hours on the jet skis. How can you search for a like monster on a jet ski? No, oh, you can't. The jet ski is just for fun. Oh, vroom, vroom, vroom. Oh, like the American Don Johnson, no? And you still haven't found the shampoo? Not even the flipper, eh? Où est le shampoo? Where can she be? I look. I look. But she is nowhere. So you do not think Champy exists? Oh no, don't be silly. Certainement she exists. And why do you say that? Because I cannot find her, eh? So you are saying your failure to find Champy is somehow proof that she exists? Mary, the lake monsters are, how you say, the shy phenomenon. Shy? She does not like the people, eh? She does not want to be the photograph. She does not want to be in the sea world. But the creature has been photographed, hasn't she? Oh, but like the Loch Ness Monster, all the photos, they are the fix. Every setting, it turns out to be the hoax. Oh, I get it now. So every time you actually have seen her... It is not her. Therefore, I know that when I do not see her, it must be her. Well, that does complicate the things with our Hudson River monster. <laughs> A number of people have seen her already. That is why our French Canadian monsters are so much better than you Americans, eh? They know when to keep their heads down. 
You mentioned that you have searched for the creature by helicopter. Ah, que do mar, so sol e tu nasce lindinho, cinza de ampetita. And can you guess who will be there to hear? You? Ah, c'est ma oui, c'est moi. And so now I must be going, no? For PC. Wherever you are, I can see that I won't be here. <laughs> well, thank you for speaking with us. Because I'll be gone. I'll live well. <laughs> <laughs>